I'm here to introduce uh, Dr. Lydia Shepard to all of you. So I'm just going to read a few brief things from her biography. So Javier received her Bachelor of Science degree in Biochemistry from the University of the West Indies. Following her undergraduate education, she pursued a Master of Sciences degree in Pharmacology, also at the University of the West Indies. She is a summa cum laude graduate of the Nutrition Institute of the University of Bridgeport and holds a Master of Sciences in Nutrition and a Doctor of Chiropractic degree from the University of Bridgeport. She has over 16 years of experience working in healthcare, and she is married and has a three-year-old son, Preston. Um, I also know that she is an avid runner. So with that, I will uh, leave you, Dr. Shepard. Thank you, Britt Marie. And ladies, thank you so very much for having me here today. It is truly, truly my pleasure to be here. So I'm um, going to talk to you today about being super mom, five keys to a healthy you and a healthy family. I usually do this seminar that I'm going to do in 50 minutes in a whole day session. So. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna um, we're gonna go through. I'm, I, it's a lot of really value-packed information in this presentation. So I'm going to go pretty quickly through most of it. If you really do want more information, our contact information is in your packet, and you are welcome. Please do contact us, and we'll be very very happy to give you more information about this. So. Let me tell you a couple of things that you should know about me before we get started. So, Britt Marie told you, I'm married, I have a three-year-old, so I'm new to being super mom, so I'm very sure that there are lots of things that I can learn from all of you, as I'm hoping to be able to teach a lot of things to you today, too. I'm about healthy, I'm not about skinny. So, if skinny is where you're going with this, come right back, we're not, we're not gonna be talking about that today. Um, and my story is uh, probably a little bit different from the stories you've heard before. I was born in Trinidad. I, my parents are Jamaican. From a very, very early age, I knew I wanted to be in healthcare, like probably eight years old. And um, I thought that I was going to be the next big thing in pharmacology. I went to school for pharmacology and I was really aiming to come up with the next big drug that was gonna solve the world's big problems. And guess what I found out? When I started interacting with real patients, real people with real problems, I realized that maybe what they need is not the next super drug, but we need to learn a lot more about how we can change our lifestyles and change our lives. So I've committed my life to that, and that is what I do every day with my patients. So that's my story, and here I am today with you. Uh, I know we're talking about nutrition, but I think talking to a group of women like yourselves who are so, so very much like me, and I just want to let you know, I love you guys. I've looked at your website. I've seen what you do, what you do with kids, and I think it's fantastic. So thank you so much for all you do. And I know if you're anything like me, which I'm guessing if you're here, you probably are, you struggle with maintaining that balance. And this is a whole other presentation that we usually do, but I thought I'd just cram a little bit of it in here today to talk to you about how you can't do it, do everything that you do at your own expense. You have to really make sure that you're making time for you. You know when you go on the airplane and they tell you in that little demonstration at the beginning, put your mask on first, it is imperative that you follow that advice because if you're struggling to put on your little baby's mask and you lose oxygen and you pass out, you're both gone. It's all over. Same thing with your life. You have to make sure that you attend to your nutrition, your fitness, your rest, your, yes, I said it, your relaxation, uh huh, your self care and your emotional well-being. And we've been kind of brought up to think that if we're doing things for ourselves, that we're being selfish 
And I'm here to sort of challenge that a little bit and say to you today, you're not being selfish at all by going to the spa. You're actually doing something for your family preservation, okay? Are you with me, ladies? Okay. And you know how they say, if mama isn't happy, then nobody's happy. <laughs> so we're going to cover a lot of information that's geared at your family's health and wellness. But I want you to pick out the pieces that apply specifically to you. If you get nothing else from what I talked to you about today, I want you to figure out how you can apply these things to making you better. A lot of you, you're the chief operating officer at work and you're also the chief operating officer at home. So what I'm gonna give you right now is a crash course on clinical nutrition, how to keep your family healthy. Because every COO needs to know that. Uh, I wanna start with the first worksheet that's in your packet. And I just, I want, I want us to do this because I think the first time I did this worksheet, and that was when I was in nutrition school, I learned a lot of things about how I am living right now and what healthy means to me. So I'm gonna give you one minute, and I know it seems like a lot, but it's really just a checklist. Go down the checklist, take a minute, and just look at the different categories, see what it is that you are including in your um, eating plan right now for you and your family, which things you might be avoiding a little bit, which things you definitely don't like. Go through, check off on the checklist, and then in a 60 seconds, we're gonna talk a little bit more about it. Go now. All right, and I know it's a lot to get through in such a short time, but the good thing is that you'll have it with you and you can take some time to look at it a little more closely when you have a few minutes by yourself. But I just wanted to ask a question, and please do be very free and open with us here in the group, because this is a very safe place, right? We can feel free to talk safely with each other. Um, is there anything, just looking at that checklist of the things that you're doing right now, that kind of stood out for you, that made you think, hmm, maybe I should be doing a little bit more of this, or maybe I should be doing a little bit less of this? Anybody? Yes? Not less fats. You, you, should, you think you should be having fewer fats? Okay. All right, that's, that's a really, really good um, revelation for you to be able to make to yourself. Um, anybody else? Yes, ma'am. Sugar. <laughs> OK. Anybody else agree with sugar? Yes. Yes. OK, so to you know, appreciate your participation today, I have a couple of little handouts for you. I have super mom tiaras, and I have little seed packets for you to do your at home gardening. So what would you ladies like? Tierra or seed packet? Okay. <laughs> okay, anybody else wanted to comment about the the worksheet? Anything that stood out for you? Yes, miss. One of the things I noticed on your um, under the beverages your, I didn't see water list. I didn't know if um, said the food mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Right. When we get to the next worksheet, then we're going to talk a lot about water. Yes, ma'am. Less bread. <laughs> that's, that's a very common one. Anybody noticed anything that you are doing that's really good? Yes. You're having lots of fruit. Excellent, excellent. I love that. That's awesome. Lots of vegetables. Lots of vegetables. I started eating small portions of everything and then sitting down for like twice a day and having two. Yes. Excellent, excellent. Yes, ma'am. Whole grain as opposed to bleached, uh, very processed foods. How about you? You thought you did. 
so it's, it's good to do this sort of thing on a regular basis to see exactly what it is that you're choosing for yourself, what it is that you're choosing for your family. And what I want to do is I want to break down how nutrition should be. And I want to make it very, very simple. So I've made it into five simple steps. Step one, watch how many plant-based foods you're eating every day. Step two, make sure you're getting your carbs. I said it, yes, you need your carbs. Um, step three, reduce your food from animals. And we're going to talk a little bit about which oils and fats are healthy ones. Uh, making greener choices, and I'm not talking about your dark green leafy vegetables here, I'm talking about more organic, sustainable types of foods. And then, of course, what supplements to get, because you could spend a whole lot of money on a whole lot of supplements and be doing a whole lot of nothing for yourselves. So, let's talk about a plant-based diet. Now, look at me, ladies. I am not a vegetarian. I'm not sending you all to become vegetarians. However, we do know that a vegetarian lifestyle is probably one of the healthiest lifestyles that's out there. So let's establish that right away. What I can tell you about increasing the number of plant-based foods that you have in your diet is that you're gonna get a diet that's rich in fiber, rich in minerals, vitamins, and phytochemicals, which you're getting from nowhere else. Phytochemicals are great because they actually help to fight cancer, so they prevent cancers from forming, and they actually also can help patients who already have cancer to you know, heal and get better. And there are a number of conditions like your diabetes and your hypertension and a lot of these lifestyle diseases that are actually very, very well treated just by um, including more plant-based foods in your diet. So how are we going to have a plant-based diet? We're going to focus on things like your fruits and vegetables, your nuts and seeds, and your peas and beans. That's what I mean when I talk about a plant-based diet. Uh, your fruits and vegetables, obviously, you know you're getting a lot of vitamins and minerals there. Uh, as far as your nuts and seeds go, very, very good source of protein fiber, essential fatty acids, and your vitamins and minerals. And the same thing holds for um, your peas and beans. Yes, Ms. I, I just wanted to know, um, which nuts you would uh, kind of rank them in terms mm -hmm. of the better nuts, the nuts that aren't as good? Uh, I like almonds. Those are really highly nutritious and very good fats. Um, I'm a very big fan of pistachios. I think those are really good. But most nuts, most nuts are great. Um, your fattier nuts, like your cashews, <laughs> if you know, some people like them. But those, you want to probably use those in a little bit more of moderation. So let's let's talk a little bit about what I mean. What what I'm specifically meaning when I say increase your plant-based foods every single day. I'm, again, getting into your face. I'm turning into that kind of person today. I'm sorry. Um, I am saying that you need to have at least 10 servings of fruits and vegetables every day. Now, this is a lot different from everything that you've ever heard from the Department of, of Agriculture, from um, Clinical Nutrition Institute of America, from all these other um, people who mandate these sorts of things. And I think the reason is that we kind of don't want to scare people off and say, oh, you need to have 10 servings of fruits and vegetables. And then people end up having zero servings of fruits and vegetables. Did you have a question? Yes. yes. How in the world do you manage 10 servings? <laughs> you know. I love that question. Yay! Thank you. Can she have a tiara or something? She, she just needs something. I love that question. Thank you.